There are five big reasons why the BYD Seagull is better than the Tata Tiago EV. Starting with the most important reason, which is the range that depends on the car's battery size. Base models of both the cars cost roughly the same in their respective countries of origin. But the base Seagull has a 58% bigger battery than the base Tiago. What that means in terms of real world usage is that the base Seagull will have 80 kilometers more range than the base Tiago. The base Tiago has a realistic range of just 135 kilometers. Even if your range requirement is less than what the base Tiago offers, having a bigger battery like the Seagull will still give you a big advantage in terms of battery life. Simply because bigger the battery, lesser will be the number of charging and discharging cycles. Also, the depth of discharge will be lower for the bigger battery, prolonging its life. Now, you can get a Tiago with a bigger 25 kilowatt hour battery, but for that, you'll have to shell out a minimum of $12,000. However, for the exact same price, you can also get the Seagull's top end variant, which has an even bigger 39 kilowatt hour battery. That gives a real world range of 280 kilometers. Second reason is the difference in fast charging ability of these two. The Seagull can charge at more than twice the speed of a Tiago. Third difference is in terms of performance. Even the base Seagull is 35% more powerful than the top end Tiago. Fourth reason is the features. Tada has just updated the Tiago EV with a 10 inch touchscreen like the Seagull. But the Seagull has four airbags while the Tiago has only two. The Seagull also has a 360 degree camera system while the Tiago only has a rear camera. And the Seagull also has front parking sensors, whereas the Tiago has them only at the rear. The Seagull gets a tire pressure monitoring system, while the Tiago only gets a tire pressure loss indicator. The Seagull gets disc brakes at the rear, while the Tiago gets drums. The Seagull gets alloy wheels, while the Tiago only gets wheel covers that look like alloys. The Seagull also gets a wireless phone charger and heated mirrors that the Tiago doesn't. And finally, coming to the fifth reason, which is the most jaw-dropping one, comes from BYD's recent announcement. All BYDs, including the Seagull, will get autonomous driving capability of L2 Plus level from 2025. L2 Plus means vehicles that have the capability to perform autonomous driving while following a mapped route even when the driver has his hands off the steering wheel but not unsupervised. Tata definitely can and must add all these missing elements to their Tiago as soon as possible and target all those markets which are planning a tariff war on China.